welcome yeah. to my youtube channel <laughs> i'm still in my december in lagos series i don't know why i was recording this in slow motion i recorded a couple of clips in slow motion i just had to delete them but anyways we went to the beach this is um so beach and it's um well i say, i would like to say my people i shall know from the gym like how the hangar came about with me i was like this connection i'm not seeing taylor head but a shot gym people and um, not all of them of course some gym people and it was nice it was fun <laughs> Don't speak in vain, syllable empty your voice. For once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. Ooh, and as you speak, a hundred billion creatures catch your breath Evolving in pursuit of what you said If it all reveals your nature so alive I can see your heart in everything you say Every painted sky so this was christmas wow, hampers for so my buses that came into the office and i thought so they were so large, large and i wanted to share it this was my okay this was my last dance class at the gym <laughs> yeah for this year 2023 So this was my last day in the gym for 2023. It was like I don't know, like Thursday before Christmas. I actually wanted to work out throughout this week, but I didn't work out. This here was the Friday before Christmas. I was working and I was working late. I actually wanted to go to the gym this day. This was supposed to be my last day, but it did not work out. And um, yeah, and then that was yeah basically i was working late and i'm just here chatting with some of my colleagues so i wanted to give you guys vibe of how the work is you know for example linkedin is all fancy but the real work is actually um <laughs> it's a lot and then just you know grateful for colleagues and people around the office that just make it less burdensome less tiring and a little bit more enjoyable so yeah <laughs> So I'm trying to understand this one about the letter that they don't want they just want to provide the letter because it's already become or including the annual returns. If you want show your bag <laughs> what can you come? <laughs> she you're such a silly boy, she you know. Thank you.
can shave. Yeah, we should just see my hair. Oh. <laughs> that was really shitty. It's no point. We're saying we should do this. This is on the We'll call on the finance people now. Why are you recording yourself? I'm sure that they're so funny. Yeah, I saw that some of your figures there were still some that were telling me. Like, I still found out that some figures were different. Queen is not hanging guys i did deliberately <laughs> i've learned this tactic yeah i just want to be able to speak a bit so this is me i was heading for this was the 20 no this was the 23rd it's saturday and i was going for my church's um christmas gift over gift away rather like giving out things people donated stuff and also clothes shoes books food yeah it was really um heartwarming my jumper <laughs> but I'm quite lazy so I hope you guys see it like this that's yes, sir <laughs> fine thanks sir compliment yes, see my jumper guys <laughs> I'm not going to mount up you I'm too tired sir I'm you. thank you sir <laughs> too lazy but it's for my auntie ignore um chuenzo and i <laughs> but 
we were just doing our we old nollywood <laughs> old nollywood stuff <laughs> so after church um we decided I, well we decided but it was my idea i've been wanting to go to the african shrine the new african shrine that is you know the Kuti, Anikula Kuti family started by Fela and all of that. I've always wanted to go. I don't know. I just wanted to experience it. I've never really had an opportunity to go. And then now that we now have this new, um, yeah. like, you know, with Made Kuti and uh, Inedoye, I feel like a younger crowd. Made Kuti is Femi's son. Femi Kuti's son. Femi Kuti is Fela's son, just in case you're aware, unaware. And Fela Kuti is like, of course, the king of Afrobeats, the founder of Afrobeats. He inspires a lot of people, including people like, um, you know, Brenna Boy and that, and everybody, to be honest. So I've always wanted to go. I never got the opportunity to go and but then they were having this end of year concert instead of being like a father and son concert so it was going to be Femi Kuti and Mari Kuti then I don't know Isha became father son and holy smoke holy smoke being Sheon Kuti Sheon Kuti is Femi Kuti's um younger brother and then yeah it was really nice I enjoyed it like it was a good good time I'm so happy I got to experience it like those people they are actually really performers like i mean you could see why you know they are who they are like they're actually really good and the shrine was a very interesting you know experience and something to take in and i i'm just happy i did it to be honest yeah i know there are a lot of stereotype i don't know i've not done my research on it i don't know what is true and what's not true but musically it was a good a good experience and it seemed quite normal to be very honest there was nothing um that you know you will not see there was nothing completely different from what you will not see in a lagos um, night out not a screen hang it's me i just wanted to mention that like i was really surprised by shirin kuti i i think it's safe to say that i'm 
amongst everyone I was looking forward to more like seeing my day more but like she could see took me by like it was amazing and then after him Femi could see we could like it was great it was amazing like amazing they are wonderful musicians like
guys i really loved femi kuti like i was just in awe i was just staring at this man he's like 61 still very much energetic i almost want to say he's my favorite but i don't know if that's that would be fair because i feel like it was a build-up of performance upon performance and you know just layering it it was amazing my day then shown took, took it like a notch higher then femme just get a notch highest <laughs> and we couldn't really stay until the very end um we sort of left mid um femme's um Mr. Femi Kuti's performance just calling him Femi by his <laughs> first name like a regular Yoruba demon feels somewhat disrespectful so let me add Sir, <laughs> Sir Femi Kuti he was amazing he's a seasoned oh my god he was so great I'm so happy we did this and yeah it was very affordable we paid 3000 naira for our ticket which i think is very fair i think they have stuff there every um sunday and usually it's weekend maybe because it was like an end of year concert thing it was 3000 know if they are changing their prices they also vip tickets and table tickets but i think vip was 5000 table you needed to call and but they barely all they were talking about was just the regular and to be fair it was i, I had a small time Oh, and by the way, I think the entrance fee to Seoul Beach was 4,045. I don't really know. I should have contributed money, but I can't remember how much specifically. So if you want to go to Seoul Beach, you may have to make your own inquiries. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're up to here, like if you, I would like to believe that you enjoyed it. And if you're like here, right here, and you've not subscribed, come on now. Subscribe, come on and just come on if you're here already and you've not given it a like and you've not told me hi in the comments please 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 do and i'll see you in the next one christmas vlog bye